Hello class 9 students I hope everyone is studying so this is our lecture number 4 of the chapter structure of the atom so guys here we will first discuss the atomic number and the mass number now let us see the atomic number it is the number of a protons of an atom which determines its atomic number it is denoted by Z all atoms now see the atomic number is determined by the number of a protons of an atom and it is denoted by the atomic number is denoted by capital letter Z for all atoms all right then all the atoms of the same element have the same number of protons in their nuclei and hence they have the same atomic number so the nuclei of all the atoms of the same element they have the same number of protons and so they have the same atomic number no two elements can have the same atomic number so all the elements they have different atomic number and the no two elements can have the same atomic number now the atomic number can be used to identify an element so atomic number it is used to identify an element now let us take an example the atomic number of carbon is 6 so for carbon z equal to 6 atomic number tells us that it is a carbon element so as I already told you here the atomic number it is denoted by Z so we got to know that the atomic number helps us to identify the element so here the element is carbon no other element can have atomic number 6 uh, we already know that no two elements can have the same atomic number so here also no other element can have the atomic number 6 only carbon has the atomic number 6 in a normal atom or neutral atom the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons in it also uh, in an atom uh, like in a normal or a neutral atom the number of protons is equal to the number of protons in it so we can also say that the num atomic number of an element is equal to the number of electrons in a neutral atom so here uh, if we consider the atomic number six that is carbon uh, it is equal to the number of electrons all right so here there are uh, six electrons present in the carbon atom because here the atomic number is six because the atomic number of an element is equal to the number of electrons clear everyone next we will see the mass number mass of an atom is practically due to protons and neutrons alone these are present in the nucleus of an atoms so these protons and neutrons these are present in the nucleus of an atom hence protons and neutrons are also called as nucleons so these protons and neutrons together they are called nucleons for example mass of carbons is 12u because it has 6 protons and 6 neutrons so 6u plus 6u equal to 12u now uh, 12u is the mass of carbon because it has got six protons and six neutrons all right similarly the mass of aluminium is 27 u because it has got 13 protons and 14 neutrons so 13 uh, u plus 14 u we will get 27 u now see the definition for mass number the mass number is defined as the number of the total number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom I hope everyone understood now what is a mass number now the mass number of an element is denoted by uh, the capital letter A in the notation for an atom the atomic number mass number and symbol of the element are to be written as now see here uh, this one is the symbol of element so above the symbol of the element we will write their mass number and below the symbol of the element we will write their atomic number so here x represents the symbol of the element a represents the mass number and z represents the atomic number so for example nitrogen is written written as n and above for this uh, and you can see 14 right so this is the mass number for nitrogen and 7 it is the atomic number for nitrogen clear everyone now see the relationship between mass number and atomic number so uh, so we know that mass number equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons right now since the number of protons in an atom is equal to the atomic number of element uh, so here the number of protons in an atom it is equal to the atomic number of the element 
so we can rewrite the above relation so we can rewrite this above relation by putting the atomic number in place of number of protons so see here this is the relation between uh, mass number and atomic number mass number equal to atomic number plus number of neutrons you can just note this down all right now we will do numericals based on atomic number and mass number now see the sample problem one calculate the atomic number of an element whose atomic nucleus has mass number 23 and a neutron number 12 what is the symbol of the element so here we have to calculate the atomic number of an element uh, where the mass number is given that is 23 and the number of neutron equal to 12 and we also have to write the symbol of the element okay students uh, try it by yourself pause the video for a minute okay so see here i'm helping you out uh, we know that mass number equal to atomic number plus number of neutrons right so here the mass number equal to 23 and the atomic number we have to find out and the number of neutrons equal to 12 so atomic number equal to 23 minus 12 we will get 11 now can you tell me which element has got the atomic number 11 yes it is sodium the element having atomic number 11 is sodium and its symbol is Na. If, however, we indicate the atomic number and mass number also, then the symbol becomes this. As you can see here, where 11 is the atomic number and 23 is the mass number. Clear everyone? Next, see, helium atom has an atomic mass of 4u and 2 protons in its nucleus. How many neutrons does it have? So we have to find out the neutrons present in a helium atom uh, which has atomic mass of 4u and 2 protons in its nucleus. Now see the solution. We know that atomic mass is numerically equal to mass number of an atom. So atomic mass it is numerically equal to the mass number of an atom. Since helium atom has an atomic mass 4u, therefore the mass number of helium atom will be 4 so here uh, in case of helium atom the atomic mass is 4 so therefore the mass number of helium will also be 4 and then the number of proton in the helium nucleus has been given to be 2 right so here the protons of helium atom is given that is 2 now we know that mass number equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons so 4 equal to 2 plus number of neutrons so we have to find out neutrons right now number of neutrons equal to 4 minus 2 equal to 2 thus the helium atom has two neutrons uh, okay students so we are done for lecture number four thank you everyone